Hi, my name is Kayla Mellon, and I'm super excited to introduce this episode of A Day in the Life at a Google Data Center. Our next Googler story is as captivating as it is unique. Nicole Henley, the spotlight is all yours. Hi, I'm Dr. Nicole Henley. I've been with Google for six years. I'm an area leader for global server operations. I manage seven data centers in Tennessee, Ohio, and Virginia. People always ask, what does that mean? Well, I'll tell you what we do in layman's terms. We support the data center operations. So all of the machine learning, artificial intelligence, cloud capacity, the teams that I lead, we support, deploy, and maintain all of that. I grew up in the North and the South. Predominantly, I spent a lot of time in the South in a little town called Sullivan, Alabama. It's a small town, but people with big hearts. Eventually, my family relocated to Detroit, Michigan, and I got a little taste of the North. I believe those two cultures helped define who I am today. We grew up poor, I would say. We didn't have everything. I always like to tinker with like hardware, taking things apart, putting things back together. I knew I wanted to be successful, but I was trying to find that ideal career that would make me successful. My parents, uh, Geneva and Harold, Ross, they were filled with love. They made sure that our home was filled with love, that we had what we needed. They did the best they could to raise us. So my grandparents were a critical part of me growing up. And they were key mentors in my life. And they taught me a lot about my faith, right? Um, my grandmother was an usher in the church. My grandfather was a deacon. And of course, you know, we went to church a lot. And so that became a pillar for me growing up. I've been married to my husband, Rico, for 21 years. We have two children. We call them chipmunks. Our oldest daughter, Amaria, is 19 years old, and our son, Titus, is 18 years old. So my career journey started in the military. During that time, there were only two AFSCs offered for me, and an AFSC is an Air Force job code. So they told me, you can be in IT or you can be a cook. And I can remember signing up for my bachelor's degree and I chose the IT security uh, degree program. And my academic advisor, she questioned whether or not that was the right uh, program for me because cybersecurity wasn't prevalent. But I really wanted to do it. So I stuck with it, got my bachelor's degree in IT security. That led to me getting my master's and then eventually my PhD. I got my PhD in organizational leadership, but my dissertation focus was on social engineering attacks using artificial intelligence. So I was able to climb the ladder with my education, getting from my associates all the way to my PhD. And that was really the defining moment of leading me to Google. I actually turned down the first offer to join Google. And people were like, you turned down an offer at Google? I did. It wasn't a great opportunity for me and my family at the time. I was previously working at another company and I thought I was pretty successful in the role. Wasn't really looking for another opportunity. I was a VP in cybersecurity, doing my thing, thought life was great, and then I was approached with the opportunity to work at Google. So when I took the job offer with Google, I started out in Council Bluffs, Iowa. We live and work in a very ambiguous environment. My job is fun, fulfilling, and exciting. As an area leader at Google, I have the privilege of working with some of the smartest and the brightest. A part of my job is hitting the road every now and again to make sure that I'm spending time with the teams on the ground and making sure that I'm connecting with them. Yep, that's your typical travel logistics. And then getting to the site, landing, spending time with the team. One of the things that we like to do on a periodic basis is bring the area together, and that's what we call a town hall. So a town hall is where there are leadership pass downs and we also bring our partner team in to educate our folks on what's going on in the organization. As a woman of color, there are a few leaders that have inspired me to be a better leader, starting with my current Google leadership. My boss, Brian, Director of Global Server Operations, Felisa Coney, VP of Global Server Operations, and Monique PQ, VP of Cloud Supply Chain and Operations. My mother Geneva and Auntie Kai are also key women that played an invaluable role in setting an example of true leadership. 
I grew up watching my aunt progress in her career and blaze the trail for the black community in the legal field. My mother showed me how to lead by committing to the work and never giving up despite the obstacles. Lastly, but most importantly, I watched my husband climb the ranks as a black male in the military going from E1 to E9. When you come to Google, you can wear what you want. When you can show up as you are, it actually pulls on your creativity and your uniqueness. So for example, prior to coming to Google, I was in corporate America. Strict business dress code, suited and looted is what I call it. Now at Google, most days I may show up in a sweatsuit and some jades. When I was growing up, we had two pair of shoes, church shoes and school shoes. Now there's this running rumor at Google that my sneaker game is really strong. So because I have this reputation of a strong sneaker game, people ask me, if you had to sum your leadership style up in the form of a shoe, what shoe best identifies with your leadership style? Simple, Jordan 1s. Now, why is the Jordan 1 my shoe of choice when it comes to my leadership style? Because with Jordan 1s, you can dress them up, dress them down. You can wear them with sweats, suits, slacks, jeans, skirts, dresses. Doesn't matter. Jordan 1s go with everything. I kind of think of my leadership style in the same way. Doesn't matter what walk of life you come from. Doesn't matter what you believe. Doesn't matter what you look like. Doesn't matter your gender. We should all be able to sit together, work together, get the job done without all of the unnecessary judgment. A great part of being a good leader is having good relationships with people, and that doesn't mean being a yes man. That means that I can have a transparent conversation and you trust me regarding my guidance and my direction because you know that I care about you. If I was talking to the young girl that grew up in Sullivan, Alabama and Detroit, Michigan 20 years ago, of course I would tell her don't give up. Be okay with the frustrating days. And, and, and get past the frustrating days, because you're gonna have them. You're gonna get overlooked. You're gonna get passed up. The opportunity is not always gonna land, but be okay with that for the moment, but then get back in the game and figure out what you have to do for the next win, because the next win is gonna come. But I will also tell her that being a trailblazer, a pioneer, an inspirational and influential leader, it's gonna cost you something. It's gonna come at a price. And you're gonna look around the room and everyone isn't gonna look like you. Everyone isn't gonna agree with you, neither are they going to understand you. But you have to persevere through all of those challenges, through all of those differences, and know that your sacrifice today is sowing a seed into someone's success tomorrow. So don't give up endure the pain, endure the challenges, go through it, because you will be rewarded. But the biggest reward is gonna be when you see it manifest in someone else's success. I'm Dr. Nicole Henley, and I'm signing off. When I think of Dr. Henley, I think of a true pioneer and exceptional leader. Every time that you see or address any kind of vision, it is amazing.